Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling a question that many developers have on their minds. Our viewer asks, how can you tell at runtime if a library was linked using CocoaPods or not? Let's break down the question. Our viewer is curious if there's any footprint left by CocoaPods that can indicate whether a library was installed using it. They mentioned that while they can identify if CocoaPods was used by checking for class names with the pods dummy pods prefix, they still can't determine if a specific library was linked through CocoaPods. To add more context, our viewer has access to the library source code, but lacks control over the final project. The library is distributed as a binary static library, and they want to know if users installed it via CocoaPods. This raises an interesting challenge for developers. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, let's get ready to try and work through to that resolution, and remember to just stay a little bit crazy, just like me. Now, let's continue on. To determine if a library was linked using CocoaPods at runtime, we can look for specific indicators in the code. One common method is to check for the presence of certain classes. Since you have access to the library source code, you can implement a check for these class names. This will help you identify if CocoaPods was used for linking. However, to specifically determine if a particular library was installed via CocoaPods, you might need to look for additional metadata or configuration files that CocoaPods generates. If you cannot find these indicators, consider adding a unique identifier in your library's code that can be checked at runtime. This way, you can confirm if it was installed via CocoaPods. In summary, while there is no direct method to check if a specific library was linked using CocoaPods, using class name checks and metadata can help. Adding a unique identifier is a practical solution. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To determine if a library was linked using CocoaPods, it depends on whether you control the library. If you don't, you can't tell for sure. The presence of pods dummy classes indicates CocoaPods was used, but not for specific libraries. For source code libraries, CocoaPods can add build flags that expose additional APIs or strings. You can check for the CocoaPods build flag at For binary libraries, it's trickier. You could theoretically add a symbol to the library that can be discovered at runtime, then remove it in the podspecs prepare command. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To determine if a library was linked using CocoaPods at runtime, one effective method is to organize all your pods into a separate bundle. This allows you to check the bundle at runtime.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. To determine if a library was linked using CocoaPods at runtime, you can't do it automatically. Instead, a practical solution is to add a custom resource bundle in the pod file. Then you simply check for its presence during runtime. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.